We suck on them titties, baby. <laughs> Alright, what's up everybody? Kevin Van Voorhis here. So I'm filming with the iPhone today because uh, Misa has the GoPro and I don't know where it is. Okay, the GoPro. That's your ass. That's, my Dr. That's your ass. <laughs> that Dr. Pepper came out of his ass. So we're in Rigo's Camo Cat, if you guys couldn't tell. Uh, it's, I'll do a walk around at Best Buy. This shit's halfway wrapped. It is the ugliest. Halfway wrapped. This it is. <laughs> half, half the hood is unwrapped. <laughs> it's pretty bad. So. Your uh, sounds like one of those dental drugs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're headed to Best Buy. Mies wants to go look at the G7S. G7X. 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 Which I want to look at also. So. I've been thinking about upgrading the GoPro for a little bit, um, but he's going to use it to film the track hog and some other stuff. <clears throat> so I'm going to kind of see what that's going to look like, and then uh, I don't know, see if I like it. Maybe I'll end up getting one. But um, Rigo's car, I think, makes a little over 800. It's a manual six speed, and um, so that's torquey. It's torquey. <laughs> so, damn, his coolant temps are high as fuck. It's weird. Like when you have the ice tank. So, anyways, we're in it. Uh, oh, look, you can see part of it. There's part of his wrap. And then, uh, look at this hood. I'll zoom in for you. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many people have Snapchatted us. Like, oh, look at this fucking car. Can't I've, afford I've a full wrap. A few, I've, I've seen a few people snap me for no fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> so, we will see you guys at Best Buy. Misa, are you doing half price, half wraps? No, this is full price, half wraps. <laughs> <laughs> see, I gotta leave some of it exposed. If not, you won't be able to see the car. That's Let's true. Go. This is it? Oh, mm -hmm. that's not it. This power shot. Oh, that's it? Just that nice. Dude, 600. I know. I'm trying to buy a fucking a little tripod thingy. They have like a little fun a tripod and a, and a memory card. And I'll just take that one. <laughs> you could, 379. It's for sale. Fuck that, that's the one I have already. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the one I have. All right, guys, so we're re-wrapping. No, we're taking this shit off. Let's get it. And honestly, it looks like fucking trash. Wow. <laughs> so, Wait, no, Lisa's right. over there vlogging. Unwrapping the Hellcat right now, guys. Here it is. This is a nice red. I'm not even sure what Mesa's doing over here. Illustrious D wraps <laughs> dialing. If you guys are looking for your shit to get unwrapped, let me know. That or half camo, I'll do half camo and half but camo, it, full price. But it's but when I say half camo, I mean like just the door, the fender, <laughs> maybe the trunk. But like half, half. Yeah. Hey, shout out to whoever tinted this window and put their business sticker on the inside. That's fucking retarded. I can take it off. So we're peeling this off right now. So peeling wrap is pretty easy. Dave's over here just fucking shit up. And as you guys can tell, nothing's wrong with the paint <laughs> that already hasn't been wrong before. Here we go. <laughs> is that a curb rash? The paint's in better shape. Oh, than I was gonna. Say. I know, really though. So we're just peeling this off. I'll update you guys here in a minute. A little worker bees over here. You hear that clear coat peeling off? I know. Misa, you sure premium said this is okay? Should we call Daniel? You guys are giving me a direction right now. She no. said, yeah, we should call premium. No. Do you know what premium's phone number is? Uh, 951 premium. <laughs> <laughs> So what, what should you tell people about getting wraps like this? Because this is not really meant for whole cars, right? I mean, you can, it's just, 
see how much so i don't know if you guys can tell the color dis like distortion when you start like pulling it and stretching it too much it really distorts yeah, so say that? they want a camo wrap who makes good camo wraps or what should they do i would say find a place that could like print it that like, could make yeah like local like, outfitters they designed that one and they printed it and i mean just based off of the material like we used on the hellcat and what we're using on the track hog like it's it's really good quality and i mean the hellcat still looks perfect so it's you true. know so let me show you guys so i'll show you guys the difference just so you guys can see which i don't know if on the camera you can see it's similar but i think this color like the white on this and i'll show you guys oh yeah next you can tell so this is yeah, that's this is supposed ugly. to be white this is like a ugly white this is a really pretty white even the <laughs> red ugly. hey look at the reds way different this red actually matches the color yeah, a lot the more red too. is a lot closer and you yeah. guys can tell how ugly this is and uh so if you want it just go to a local place it's going to be more expensive to print printing a wrap for this car i think was 1200 bucks um versus this was probably what six or seven hundred for this no this was 900 so this About is 900, 900. so it's a couple hundred dollars more but the quality is a lot better and we've got dave over there just doing dave things i guess All right, guys, so we pretty much have the whole Challenger de-wrapped. Um, need to do a little bit on this hood here, but he'll take those out when he's gonna actually wrap it. Um, so, and then he'll have to take off the bumper and get little tiny pieces here, but it's pretty much pretty much done. The red is a really pretty color. Um, but that's what's cool about wraps, is if you have a pretty color, like the yellow, you can, uh, you know, you can wrap it, and then when you unwrap, you're like, man, that's a really pretty color. David did that with this purple, so, but there it is. Looks really good. So I'm excited to see the new camo, though, because the old camo, it looked good, and then it faded really quick, and it started to come up in certain spots just because the camo is not really made for big pieces. So, again, if you guys want to do camo or, you know, custom thing like I did on the Charger and the Trackhawk, just go have somebody design it for you. Shout out Curvaceous Wraps. You guys should hit her up on Instagram if you want a custom wrap. And uh, then just go have somebody print it. Again, it's a little more expensive, but you're paying for quality. Um, again, my Charger wrap still looks brand new, and it's I think it's a year and a half old. So I like it. I love it. I'm excited to see this Challenger get wrapped, though. So I'll give you guys an update on the Trackhawk probably tomorrow. Trackhawk, we ran into a small issue uh which kind of sucks but i'll go over that in a different video since today's sunday but hopefully you guys enjoyed your weekend my name is kevin van voris this is the challenger hellcat getting unwrapped and we're out this bitch